This is the BTEC GMRS Pro handheld walkie-talkie radio. BTEC sent me this when it first came out about one year ago, and people love it. Mostly because it has a built-in GPS and compass and relatively large screen. When I did my initial review of this radio about a year ago, it sold out in about 24 hours. This radio costs about $155, and I will put an affiliate link in the information section below, which, when clicked upon, will take you to the Amazon page for the radio, where you can purchase one for yourself or read up on its specifications. As previously mentioned, a lot of people love this radio. But it is not all rainbows and butterflies, particularly in the online forums, where you will find some people declaring that this radio is nothing more than cheap Chinese junk. And that, amongst other things, this radio is not as tough or as durable as a real radio that requires you to take a test before you're allowed to use and costs three times more. So in this video, we will see if those experts are correct or if they are just jealous of this radio. And we will find out how tough the BTEC GMRS Pro really is or is not. So hold on to your socks because this might just blow your panties off. My plan is to put the radio through a short series of abusive life events to see how it copes with adversity. To start, I will begin with some good, old-fashioned, just like dad used to do with mom, verbal abuse. You're stupid. I don't even know why I bought you. You're so ugly and nobody would ever want you. Look at you. You contribute nothing to society. I hate you, you stupid, ugly bitch. And the radio seems to have made it through that much better than my mother did who ended up running out on the family before I was born. Next, I will remove the antenna and transmit at high power for a full minute, something that the online radio experts have repeatedly declared will kill any radio almost immediately. As you can see, the transmission automatically timed out after 60 seconds, and the radio seems to still function just fine. However, according to the experts, the damage could be internal. So I will test the power output just to confirm that it is still transmitting, and it does seem to be transmitting RF electricities just fine. Next, I will simulate dropping the radio into a crystal clear lake or Rocky Mountain stream for five minutes. And it seems the radio still works just fine. Next, while the radio is still wet and dripping with that Rocky Mountain spring water, I will freeze the radio for one hour in my five degrees below zero Fahrenheit freezer. And after one full hour at negative five degrees Fahrenheit below zero, the radio seems to have survived just fine. And next, before the radio even has a chance to fully warm back up, I will drop the radio from waist height to the hard ground below, simulating a common adventuring radio mishap. And the radio still powers on and works just fine. And finally, I will run over the radio with this 3,200 pound Japanese automobile. And as you could probably hear with your very own ear holes, that sounded painful. However, as you can see, this BTEC GMRS Pro not only literally does not even have a scratch on it, it also still works perfectly.
proving yet once again that the online experts should not only be ignored, they should be made fun of.